Hey YouTube, time for another drive time. Check out this weather though. Got some nice snowy weather going on, which is good. We could use the moisture here in Denver. So this topic is going to be Biden. Good old hair plugs Joe Biden and his uh, buy a shotgun little rant that he had on uh, an interview. He was interviewed recently, uh, I think it was by Parents Magazine, and uh, someone asked him the question of uh, if he believed that banning uh, certain weapons and high-capacity magazines uh, would mean that law-abiding citizens will then uh, become more of a target to criminals because we can't defend ourselves as well. And I think the name of the person was, was Kate. So. I'm gonna do this as a, a video reply to that video. Hopefully that she'll see this because that's just the most asinine thing I've ever heard is his answer. The question was good, but her his answer is just ridiculous. All right, first, first he starts off by, you know, Joe fake hair plugs and fake teeth Biden does what he always does and he he pulls out his his bully personality and just laughs at the question. <laughs> I have Parents Magazine at my house, and I've never heard questions like this asked. <laughs> That's so stupid. Guys, are, uh, don't get me started. Any, well, I'm already started, so. Anyways, then he goes on to say, buy a double barrel shotgun. Buy a double barrel shotgun. So, w what does he mean by that? W what's he trying to say? Well, first he only wants you to have two rounds. Uh, he doesn't want you to have the 10 rounds or 7 like New York in a pistol. He doesn't want you to have 6 rounds in a revolver. He wants you to have 2 rounds in a double barrel shotgun. How asinine is that? Alright, so then he goes on to say that if someone's ever breaking into your house, all you do is you go out onto your back porch. This is what he tells his wife to do. This is what he says. Go out onto your back porch and point your double barrel shotgun into the sky and blast off two rounds. And that will scare anybody away. And nobody would, nobody will bother you after that. Ugh. All right, there, there are so many things wrong with this. Where do you even begin? I mean, seriously. First he's telling you to leave your house when there's somebody threatening you. What? Then he's telling you to take the only two rounds you have and shoot them into the air. What? First of all, any responsible gun owner would know you don't shoot rounds into the air like that. That's just asinine. And secondly, you don't shoot off the only two rounds you have. That's just idiotic. And third, you don't shoot off the rounds just blatantly into the air because it'll give away your position. Sorry for the language, but dumbass, seriously? He's trying to get us all killed. Ah, just, I'm so frustrated and angry with this idiot. I just, ah, uh, ah, uh, you guys know my, you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys just know it. So, all right, then what? Then what does he say? Well, first of all, if you haven't seen this thing, you, you gotta go check it out because it's hilarious. All right, so then he goes on to say, he gets even more stupid by saying that you don't need an AR. They're harder to hold and they're harder to aim. Are you freaking kidding me? I don't think I've ever heard something that stupid in my entire life. This man has obviously never shot a gun, ever. Shotgun, AR, whatever. Never shot one. For starters, if, if you don't know, shotguns, especially double-barreled ones, typically have a longer barrel. Now, I know tactical shotguns don't, but if you're talking about a uh, hunting shotgun or whatever, which double-barreled shotguns are typically used for, or competition skeet shooting, that kind of stuff, they have longer barrels, um, which makes them harder to maneuver inside of home hallways, around your bedroom, inside closets, all that kind of stuff. So, bad choice number one. Uh, they're usually heavier because the barrels are bigger. So they're harder to hold up. 
Bad choice number two. And if you've never fired a shotgun, a 12 gauge shotgun with double op buck, doesn't matter what kind of load you have in the shotgun, its recoil is a lot more fierce than an AR. So it's harder to control what you're shooting and where you're shooting. So bad choice number three, all around double barrel shotgun, stupidest choice for home defense ever. If that's all you have, then that's all you have. But not a first choice at all for home defense. Then after that piece of ignorant knowledge that he tries to tell you, and he tries to tell you, you don't need a 30 round magazine. You don't need 30 rounds. You don't need 30 bullets to defend yourself with. Well, all right, who the hell do you think you are to tell me what I need to defend myself? You got secret service people with semi-automatic, fully automatic weapons to keep you protected. So why can't I have a handgun with 15, 17 rounds to defend myself? Why can't I have an AR with 30 rounds to defend myself and my family? Just burns me up inside, folks. If you haven't tell, if you haven't been able to tell, this just burns me up. I just can't believe that that someone like him has the nerve to tell me what I need. I'm not on welfare. I'm not on food stamps. I'm not dependent on the government for anything. I provide for my family. I have a job. I make my money. So he doesn't get to tell me what I need. That's for me to determine. Just, ugh. This is more of a rant video, obviously. But, uh, sheesh. So, the video is just full of bad information. If you're looking for a home defense gun, don't listen to Joe Biden. This goes to the root of the Second Amendment. I mean, it's not about hunting or sport. It has everything to do with defense. If you look at any of the quotes from the Founding Fathers, it's clear that they're not even talking about personal defense. They're talking about defense from tyranny. so frustrating. The Bill of Rights wasn't written to give us anything. For, the Founding Fathers wrote the Bill of Rights to basically put definition to what the government can't take away, what they can't legislate. Their unalienable rights, which means they cannot be transferred and they cannot be altered and they cannot be taken away. So, that's my drive time video for today. Joe Biden and his, buy a shotgun, buy a shotgun. Double barrel shotgun. It's like double rambles all the way across the sky. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Anyways, I hope you guys got a kick out of this and seeing me and my frustration and anger and all that good stuff. If you haven't seen the video, go onto YouTube and do a search for Joe Biden and Parents magazine and it'll come up with the interview it's just hilarious to watch him and it's frustrating at the same time because he's given you bad information he's given you information that'll get you killed that's my little girl in the back seat making noise so oh just drives me nuts well, anyways drive safe everybody God bless our military servicemen past and present keep your powder dry folks <laughs>